Danes and News, it's Monday the 8th of February. Welcome to the new week. We're talking silver again today and how it smashes records with the GSR reverting. Last week was one many will never forget for silver. We talked at length last week on the drivers and outcomes. We now have full visibility of the extent of the record inflows into ETFs, COMEX and mutual funds. And not only was it the highest on record an eye-watering 68.3 million ounces, it was the highest by a margin of nearly 50%. In addition, there are no end of stories about shortages for physical silver, particularly in the US. We still have plenty of stock for most core items at Ainsley, however. The chart we're going to show next shows the extent of those inflows with the far right blue bar showing the near 70 million ounce inflow compared to the previous record last August when silver surpassed $40. There's that chart here. The chart shown is notable not just for that huge blue bar on inflows. The total holdings for these derivative vehicles now sits at 1,644 million ounces. That's over 51,000 tonne. For context, that's nearly double global mine production. Consider that in the chart above the correlation between the price of silver and total holdings, and well, the lack of, and we'll compare that now for gold. Here's the weekly transparent gold holdings chart as well. The contrast is obvious and stark. In 2011, silver price clearly overshot any correlation. The gold and silver ratio, or GSR, dropped to just 30, and the price hit US $50 an ounce. The correction was huge, and again overshot to the downside of the correlation again. With demand booming and the price starting to rise, this looks very much like a coiled spring. That behaviour, by the way, is very typical of the dynamic of GSR. As the gold price structurally firms the GSR, tends to revert to the low side, and silver belatedly takes off to outperform gold. Crestcat's Kevin C. Smith tweeted to this over the weekend in regard to this next chart we're going to show here, gold versus silver. Gold, uh, silver ratios and targets based on gold price. From him, 25 is to 1, AG to AU and Earth's crust, $73 based on current pricing. 15 to 1, 70.92 coin ejacked, $122. Or 9 is to 1, current global silver to gold mining production, making it $203 per ounce. Supply demand imbalances today could easily lead to AG $100 plus per ounce in this cycle. Not bad stuff there for silver. And that's news for today. Jump over to ainsleybullion.com.au for all things physical, gold, silver, and platinum. Ainsley Wealth for all things cryptocurrency and goldsilverstandard.com for our own cryptocurrency built and backed by Ainsley. We'll catch you tomorrow for more news.